is ISIS defeated? I don't know. What do you think, well, Barry? If you follow what Israeli intelligence came out with a couple days ago, mm -hmm. the answer is a resounding no. There's two ways to look at ISIS. One, in a conventional sense, and the second, in an unconventional sense. And let's look at both ways. In a conventional sense, yes, you would say they're defeated because they're controlling virtually no territory. I think they're down to maybe a square mile, and that's it. And everybody else is gone, has disappeared back into the countryside, has been killed or has run away. And in that sense, there's no more ISIS. What Israeli intelligence is saying, and uh, it's really important that people understand this, ISIS is not radical Islam. It's not. It's literal Islam. It's a group that is taking the dictates of the prophet out of the books, the Quran, the Hadith, the surahs, and so on, and saying, we're going to do this literally. That movement is now around the world electronically or virtually. And according to most experts, in this case, the Israeli former head uh, at IDF on this subject, saying in writing, there are affiliated cells all over the world that are communicating through the web. And he said he expects terroristic acts all over the place as these people continue to fight. Look, they don't control the property anymore. Okay, conventionally they've lost. However, as um, cyber villains or unconventional villains, they're still there. There are cells all over the world, and get this, they're being encouraged by mullahs in mosques around the world. And most countries feel, like the United States does, that you shouldn't go into a house of worship, no matter how horrible the speech being given to the parishioners, because somehow that's a violation of certain religious rights of the congregants. I don't feel that way. If if a Jewish rabbi, a Catholic priest, a Baptist minister, or an Islamic mullah are on the pulpit screaming, kill your neighbors, blow up Washington, kill the people that don't believe like we do, you capture that guy or gal, and you haul them away and you put them in prison or you deport them to some other country where they can be dealt with uh, by that respective government. That's not freedom of religion, that's freedom of terrorism. And sadly, in most places, nobody is going in and recording these speeches and doing anything about it. So the virtual terrorism, according to Israel, at least the Israeli expert who has been in charge of this for a number of years, Jermaine, says expect more terror because they are all connected and they are all following the words of the Quran. Which, by the way, leads me to something I should remind your viewers. All of you who want to know and be educated, please go to a bookstore, go to Amazon, we were just talking about them, and <laughs> find a good translation of the Quran. We're going to put one up on American Truth Project so that you can go buy it. Not that we sell them, just go buy it directly from a bookseller, and you can read what's there. You need to know what traditional Islamists believe because they're coming to a town near you or they may already be there.